Today, there were several tributes to remember those who lost their lives on 9-11. One of those ceremonies took place in St. Augustine. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar was there and shares the story of one of the victims. Remembering a day etched in people's memories. One of the more than 2,996 people who lost their lives 21 years ago today, this woman, Suzanne Garrity, who was just 30 years old. She was Erin Durkin's youngest sister. Suzanne had an infectious personality. She was funny. She was the life of the party. She loved a good glass of red wine and a great meal with family and friends. I will say Durkin honoring her sister and the many other victims during this ceremony at the St. Augustine Fire Department's main station. Suzanne was working in the North Tower of the World Trade Center at the time of the attacks. My mother spoke to my sister on the phone. She said she was okay. They were all together and they were going to try to make their way out. So that was the last time we heard from her. Gerard Durkin rushed to Manhattan from New Jersey to try and save his sister-in-law and so many others. He was a New York City firefighter. I remember walking on this crunchy and I, my, I was stepping on stuff and I realized it was thousands of women's shoes that had, and you get away from the death cloud, they threw their shoes away and just threw them. They threw bags and everything. This is the helmet Gerard Durkin wore when he responded to the attacks in New York City. Over to my left, this is the coat he wore. You still see some of the dust from all of the debris that day. Durkin says he was simply doing his job. You're gonna have to make a decision. You have to go in. You can't let those people by themselves. You know, what's your job otherwise? For Erin Durkin, not a day goes by. She doesn't think of her sister and the many things they never got the chance to do together. She was a woman of peace, love, and kindness, which is a perspective I think we all missed out on. The world could use a lot more people like Suzanne Garrity. Please pause now for a moment of silence in remembrance of these heroic individuals. Reporting in St. Augustine, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.